This year, the chosen UN theme for Peace Day is the right of peoples to peace, which we have been calling the right to peace. And something you can also do is by the information table, if you've written down, what does the right to peace mean to you? And we can take pictures of you and post them and tweet them globally because we're connected through the hashtag Peace Day globally. So the Declaration on the Right of Peoples to Peace proclaims that the people of our planet have a sacred right to peace. Can we all say that together? Uh, the, the people, people of, of our, our planet, planet have a sacred, sacred right, right to peace. peace. Yeah. And underscores the relationship between human rights and peace. The citizens of Philadelphia, the region, and the world lay claim to the right to peace in their homes, their schools, their neighborhoods, and cities. And efforts to build peace and stronger, unified, more unified communities is vitally important. Peace Day belongs to every Philadelphian and is shared with every human being on earth. And I want to tell you that in cities and towns and villages across the world today, there are amazing things happening. Meditations, prayers, dialogues, concerts, art exhibits, things to gather people together, to unify, to dialogue, to find out where is our commonality? And we encourage you to go to the Facebook page for the International Day of Peace because you can find so much information there about what's going on globally. So I'll end the proclamation piece. I keep interrupting myself. Therefore, I, Michael A. Nutter, do hereby proclaim Sunday, September 21st, as Peace Day Philly. Woo! And urge all citizens and leaders in communities across the city and throughout the region to engage in this global day through actions that will plant seeds for greater understanding, compassion, and peace. So I thought that was a pretty nice thing to get from the city of Philadelphia. What do you think? I want to say that this giant dove that was made possible by Dennis Creter and Anne and they've come here today and brought this wonderful dove. Uh, the messenger of peace, Jane Goodall, who is the founder of a youth and environment program called Roots and Shoots. She encourages people worldwide to fly these giant doves every year on September 21st. And while we gather today, people, including 3,000 Philadelphians, are in New York marching for the People's Climate March. Yes! Yes! Yeah. The People's Climate March. So we've got 3,000 Philadelphians who are using this day to walk for climate change, and there's a big summit at the UN on the 23rd, which is why they're doing it today. And it's a wonderful thing to have Jane's uh, dove here because she is talking about saving our planet and being mindful of every living thing in it. Where's my son when I need him to turn the pages for me? <laughs> so I'm going to end by saying that I, th I really thought it would be fitting to share a part of Dr. Jane's Global Peace Day message. It's in writing on the website, and she shared also a video message. There can never be real peace on our planet unless we start to think differently and act differently. On this International Day of Peace, let us pray that we will learn to share wealth, to conserve our natural resources, and show respect for all life and all creation so that we will one day live in peace and harmony with one another and all forms of life on planet Earth. So I share that with you from Dr. Jane Goodall, who's in New York today. I just want to say, too, that it seems that war and violence surrounds us, whether it's in our city or in our world. 
and the seeds of war that we have planted, whether in another country or in our own hearts, are invasive weeds that choke out our hopes and cause us to act when we should be still and cause us to be still when we should act. We must dig out those destructive and divisive weeds by the root so we may plant new gardens. Yes. Gardens of growing compassion, yes. shared responsibility, yes. kindness, and peace. This day lifts up the world and asks each of us to hold up the ideals of peace and ask citizens to take action to create a more peaceful world. The beauty of Peace Day is that citizens around the world have made this day happen and have made over 600 million people join in. Not a, not a government, but the people. Civil society, as the UN calls it. So we are making it happen. And at no other time in our history are citizens able to step up and take action. So people ask me sometimes why I work so hard for peace. And I sometimes feel like I can share with them that I've had very little peace in my life. Thank you. <laughs> and I think that's why I want it for everyone. I want it for everyone. Let's make this peace day count. Yes. Jess. Thank you, Lisa. You're always an inspiration. All right, I would like to introduce to you the Earth Day kids. Is everyone here? Earth Day kids. Are you present? You are here. Follow the sound of my voice. <laughs> All right, Earth Day Kids are an amazing community group, and they are going to lead us in the universal greeting, if I understand correctly. All right, so come on over here. <laughs>